Hey family, welcome back. I have some important things to go over with you guys. And I have better answers. Casey and I both have been seeking the Lord for understanding. And I have went back into my past messages that the Lord was given, given us. Uh to expound on these things further. He was trying to show us about our spiritual sight and cutting the tether to our left eye that is connected to the pit before our eyes are made single. He was showing us a long time ago. Because <laughs> I went back and I, I was looking, you know, at all the messages. So family, the short answer is the Lord is moving us to the upper room. He is speeding up the sanctification process on all of those who need their eyes to be single. And if I have caused any confusion, I apologize. You know, He gives it to us in breadcrumbs and little by little by little and we have to keep seeking to get the full understanding um, that's just the way it works and sometimes it will cause a little confusion so when I have been speaking about the Lord dividing the harvest he is he's dividing the harvest between the sheep and the goats but he is um, what's the words um, sorting it out he's sorting out the harvest of believers there are still some who haven't made their eyes single family we are when we believe with our heart truly with our heart when we have confessed our guilt, admitted that we need our Savior, accepting His payment of blood for our sin covering, calling on Him, truly, when we have done that, we become born again and we become justified. But the sanctification process has to take place we have to run our race okay sanctification is not immediate the lord has been pulling us out of bad doctrine family okay we are saved sealed and justified we are not sanctified it is a process and some people have just stayed right there never moving the race and the process and the building of the faith is what brings on the spiritual gifts and restores spiritual sight and cuts the tether from the pit and we cannot if we have not okay I say we a lot but anyone who hasn't cut that tether to their eye the Lord is telling us he is screaming this guys it has to be done because if we do not finish the sanctification process here on earth, then it will be as through the fire of wood, hay, and stubble when we arrive in heaven. The process is easier to get it done on the earth. Casey has been seeking. The Lord has shown her family that if you don't do it here while you're on earth, and you have to finish the process in heaven it's not pleasant it will not be a pleasant thing to have to go through it doesn't mean you're left behind it doesn't mean you're um, not the bride it just means you're going to finish that process whether you do it here or you do it there but it does have to do with your rewards it does have to do with your position in heaven of least and greatest in the kingdom. Okay? We're talking about spiritual fruit. Okay? 
how you have developed your relationship with your Lord Jesus Christ. It's about a deep relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? And producing spiritual fruit. If you're not hearing from the Lord, because there are many out there who believe, well, the Lord doesn't talk to us. He only talks to us through the Scriptures. And I know you've heard at least one person in your life say those words. He only speaks to us through the Scriptures. The Lord doesn't talk to us. We can't hear the Lord speak. Okay? Then they haven't cut their eye. They're still double-minded. They don't have their single vision. Family, we're traveling down the Jordan River, and He is, he is purifying us. He is refining us, and I have a lot of scriptures to show everything that he's been showing us. I'm going to reshare them. I'm not going to read them all, but I'm just going to go over the scriptures he's been showing us. I'm going to go over some new things that's coming to us and some things in the past. We're running out of time. So what, what, what we've been doing is going through... Uh, a process of everything moving faster. He's speeding up the process of sanctification. And anybody who is resisting is going to get sanctified one way or the other, whether they're going to do it here or there. But he is trying to show us it's got to be done here. You don't want it to have to finish up in heaven. Okay? Your eyes have to be made single. And I have been telling you guys about the enemy's camp and how they cover their left eye and how they mock the children of God because most of the children of God do not even understand the spiritual connection to the eyes. And it looks in the picture like they're covering their right eye, but they're facing the camera. They're covering their left eye, guys. Um, I'm just saying that in case there's confusion. The enemy's camp knows more than God's people do, guys. This is, I can't say this loud enough. The most important thing I could tell you all ever, <laughs> you know, your single vision is your spiritual sight. You're fully restored. You're full of God's light. You have no more of the dark side in you. And until this process happens, you've got one eye tethered to the pit and one eye going toward heaven and that's that's why you can't see spiritually and you're not hearing from the Lord the way you, you should family last night Casey sent me an email about Luke and Job and I'm going to share that and I'm just going to be honest there's been some people coming against both she and I and that's okay we're praying for them both of us are praying for them. We're praying for people to get their sight restored. We're praying, um, you know, <sighs> if people resist, the Lord is going to take them to the woodshed, guys. I'm not kidding. And it's for everyone's own good. Okay? But we were having a conversation um, before she sent this email, before the Lord gave her this. She said, it doesn't matter. Let them come. We're, you and I are going to stand on the rock. And I said, yes, we're standing on the rock. Then I get her email, and right above it is the word rock and speaking in Brooklyn. And... If you've been following me a while, family, you know the first thing that Casey ever brought me was Brooklyn and Hebrews 11, 13, talking about the pilgrims and the covenant with God concerning the events and the dominoes that are going to fall. The very first thing she brought me. And the numbers 1001 and 1111. And 1111 is when the nuclear exchange is going to happen. And Brooklyn led us to Manhattan. 
for when the event in Manhattan is going to happen. The fiery kickoff and the Poseidon missile for the, for the tsunami. This was the Lord saying, I, I understand. Yes, you are standing on the rock. Yes, I have teamed you two up. And just keep your eyes on me. Because that one-on-one -on -one was also on the sailboat that she's seen going by with the three triangles on it. Remember, I, I played you the little video. Cause she, she sees this sailboat going by. And, you know, the 321, the lead up, the bring up, the set sail, the Argo ship, the Ark, Jesus Christ. He is our Ark. He's our... He's our sailboat. He's our ark. He's all of it. And the number 1001 was on the boat. And then it was on the email with the word rock, because we're standing on the rock, and the words Brooklyn twice. That just stopped on 1118 for God's finger. Then, family, I see this on Jonathan Cleck. Two triangles and him holding up a rock, literally. This is this is how the Lord speaks to us and connects the dots. Here's Cleck holding up triangles and a rock, okay. And the number four for the door in one 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 for X one eleven that Jesus is coming the same way that he went up. Family, I got this today. Get active this year with a little running man on it. Make your fitness goals a reality and Nordic track. It's for running our race, family. This is what this is about. This is about running our race, finishing our race. Just like Paul, I brand my race. He completed his sanctification process on the earth. Okay? He had his spiritual eyes given to him when the Lord showed up. <laughs> And blasted him full of light. But first he went blind. And then he regained his sight. We're in the end times. Church age. The end of the church age, right? It is not an instantaneous process to, to cut that tether. And have your sight restored. You're awarded your spiritual gifts according to your faith. Okay? It might be instantaneous for some people. For, for some people, they still have not cut that tether. And this is what the Lord is screaming. This is about our race. It's about our position. It's about all of it. You have to make your eyes single. You have to be full of light. Or you're going to go through wood, hay, and stubble as up through the fire when we get to heaven. To lift up at 322. A person's appointment to an office. Okay, 322 is right to left. To lift up a person's appointment to an office. A appointed appointed at the bottom and to lift up and to show forth proclaim family he was originally showing this on the 212 message when we first got it with Henry the helicopter time to fly sister mustard seed then he brought Magnolia Blossom in, and he brought Casey in. Four of us, confirming the events are coming. And Uber is how I got two confirmations the Lord is coming, and DoorDash is how I got the 8 and 11, and his fingerprint for our dashing bridegroom is on the way. Wife, I choose to take from your Lord to your immortality. The color green is for immortality and new life. 212 is for Manhattan and Ezekiel's wheel. It had the emergency emoji, and that's how I get a lot of my confirmations. Emergency vehicles drive by and horns go off. 
to a room. He's been trying to take us to the upper room, and that is where Holy Spirit fell, and the, the disciples got their single vision. Okay? They got theirs instantaneous. We do not. Okay, this is the thing. He's been trying he's taken us to the upper room. And we're either going to go now or we're going to go when we get to heaven as through wood, hay and stubble. Cleanness and pure. He has been refining us to be seated and enthroned, meaning our position in heaven. To lead up, bring up and set sail with the 321 and the kickoff event, a rising of desire, bullying up Henry, ruler of the throne, Jesus Christ. He's been taking us to the upper room. We're going down the Jordan River. And everyone who goes to the right regains their sight. And if you go to the left, you're, you're going to have to go through the process in heaven. And it's not a pleasant process. And while Casey and I were on the phone today having this discussion, four helicopters flew over top of her home and a bluebird landed in her tree. And I could hear the helicopters. I'm like, here it is. <laughs> He's taking us to the upper room. We have to have our sight restored. This is what we've been dancing towards. But I have some warnings too, guys. Here is the scripture. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Refinement. Refinement. Gold. Job 30. Because he has loosed my cord, meaning cutting the tether of the left eye, and afflicted me, they have also let loose the bridle before me. And Job is where the Maseroth is, and Orion, and all of the things that's been going on with Team Jesus, and the dance of the black and blue butterfly. So family, when I was sharing the study the Lord gave us with the scriptures, and His words written to us through Casey. Children, your left eye is watching from a distance. You must learn this truth. I cannot take you home until you accept this truth. Children, if you will not listen to my servant Jonathan Clegg, you must listen to my servants Casey and Shelley. Children, I have given you two more witnesses and Shelley and Casey. Heed my warnings. Tell my children I am wroth. I need them to trust this harsh truth. I want my children home. The worldly knowledge you have is wrong. You must cut the tether to your left eye now. I love each and every one of you. You are my hope. You are my joy. And I am wroth because you must learn this in your hearts now. I am Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And Casey is my anointed scribe. Hear them, or sorry, hear me through her. Woe well, unto those who reject these teachings. Go and watch, click. Woe well, unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Family, I've been sharing everything about the honey. Have you heard about the about? Have you heard this about the bees and the thirteen thirteen from the other message? Um, I'm going to pull it up too. And the knife. The knife is symbolic for dividing, but it's also used to cut a tether. Okay, and the honey. All right. And I was reading to you from 1 Samuel 14 about Jonathan dipping his hand to his mouth, and then his eyes were enlightened. I pray you how my eyes have been enlightened because I tasted a little of this honey. Okay, the Lord's been trying to show us the whole time with the bees about the eyes. Be awake. Be watching. To look up 
means to regain your sight. So everything he's been telling us about looking up, be awake, be watching, bees, he's telling us about our spiritual sight and having our eyes made single. And this is where Casey um, was given this on 113. Door is I is chariot. Okay. First King 733. And, you know, he's been showing us about the chariot and about Ezekiel's wheel and how it's all connected to the door. And the door is the eye. The door is Jesus, too. He's, he is our eyes, right? He is our eyes. And the work of the wheels was like the work of a chariot wheel. Their axle trees and their knaves and their fellows and their spokes were all molten. Because I've got, I've got to share all this because I've got something more to show you guys. Here is Luke 11. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is single, the whole body is also full of light. But when your eye is evil, your body is also full of darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright and shining of a candle doth give thee light. Candle and light. Those are important words for what I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Guys, the eyes have to be single. He's taken us to the upper room. Anybody who hasn't made their eyes single and cut the tether to the pit has to do it now. You have to do it now. In Acts 26, 18, Paul was sent to open the eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the powers of Satan unto God. The mystery given to Paul about the eyes. It's all through the scriptures about the eyes. It's about the sanctification. It's about our position and our rewards in the Bema seat. If you don't cut the tether here on earth, you're going to have to go through an unpleasant process when you arrive in heaven. These are the other scriptures. John 9, 11. And I went and washed and I received sight. Song of Solomon 5, 12. Isaiah 5, 21. Woe unto them that are wise in their own sides and prudent in their own sight. Family, my phone started buffering last night. When I was watching something and it's started buffering right at the point where there was an eyeball on the screen. Okay? And while I, before that, while I was reading my Bible, when I hit red, these ads will pop up. And then I go and I clear it and I go to the next. I hit the close button, you see, and then I go right back in. Dashing, dashing Bridegroom, when I got the 11, uh, the 8 and 11 from DoorDash, when the Lord messed with my app, I couldn't use Uber to get my delivery. So I had to use DoorDash, and I got a delivery driver named Joshua, which all took us to the fingerprint of God. The 8 and 11 it said, I'm arriving at 8 and 11, and I'll show you that here in a second. So anyway, my Bible app, it kicks to this ad, the dashers for DoorDash. Look at their eyes, family. Their eyes are glowing, the dashers. Full of light, both eyes single. I'm telling you, our God is so amazing. And then I also got prayer should be the key of the day and, a, and the lock of the night. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently he's showing us every which way possible. This is about our, our spiritual fruit and our ability to hear our God and going to the upper room 
and taking care of our sanctification while we're on the earth so we don't have to go through the refinement in heaven as through the fire of wood, hay, and stubble. Okay? That's been the dance. Here's the Luke study that came with the confirmation. <coughs> whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall pre preserve it. I've got a lot more to go over, so you can screenshot this, and you can study it out. So, family, as Casey's sending me this, that the Lord gave her, the Lord gave me something as well. He gave me Lamentations 521 in my app. I told you guys a long time ago, the Lord's in control of what he wants me to see. Because I've been, I've got my sight, guys. I, I, I'm talking with him a million different ways throughout the day. If you're not hearing from the Lord, you best be seeking him now. Look at what it reads, family. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Our dance is turned into mourning, the dance of the black and blue butterfly. The crown is fallen from our head. For this our heart is faint, for these things our eyes are dim. Woe unto us that we have sinned. And i got to show you something more. And at the bottom there, the foxes walk upon it. And you know, there's been the fox dreams. The fox in, in uh, I believe it was a fox constellation. Part of the dance and the dreams. Our dance is turned into mourning. The crown is fallen from our head. Woe unto us that we have sinned. For this our heart is faint. For these things... Our eyes are dim. Turn thou unto thee, O Lord, and we shall be turned. Renew our days of old. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very wroth against us. And remember he's saying our, not, our eyes need to be turned up, made single. And in the word that Casey gave us, he said he's wroth. He said, I am wroth. And then I get this scripture last night. Confirming her her word even more and I've got something huge to confirm it, but I've got more to go over This was from December 2nd Days left time is ending on contact Wow is good and then candles and the day is here and love it's mostly the definitions, but hurry, get set before the time is gone to start under the moon and the stars, to dance in the sun, the moon, and the stars, the Maseroth and God's calendar, all of it, okay? Animals, they're going. Watch to discern a shout. I anoint upper room, a lamb to please and serve. Our, our lamb, Jesus Christ. The lamb to please and serve. Serve him. Please him. The upper room. He was showing us all along. Even, you know, weeks ago. And the candles. The light. The light. The candles. The anointing. The upper room. Anyone who wants... Who wants position in heaven has to make their eyes single. The anointing. That the Lord has the upper room. And a while back then, I was sharing this comment um, from a sister named Chrissy. The Lord gave us this today. 
Follow the man with the water pitcher and he will take you to the upper room. And this was on Manchild's channel. He's been taking us to the upper room the whole time. But anybody who's not... Anyone who is resisting... Guys, it's going to be a hard process of conviction in the woodshed, okay? I'm not kidding. He is speeding up the process of sanctification. We have to walk in obedience. He is refining us. That is the end all be all right there. Okay? Or you're going to have to go through it in heaven. And I'm going to keep repeating it. The scriptures are clear. Wood, hay, and stubble as if through the fire. And it is not a pleasant process. This one was on November 28th. Luminous, the light, the owl, the wisdom, the eyes. Okay. Three, two, one, blast off. Take off. The season. The number 40. And the word confirmation. To listen. Give the ear so you can learn to see. A gift. Upper room. Upper room. God of doing. From the ruler in chief. He is about to come. All together. A joining. And the 917 was also a, the Brooklyn area code. All this I shared in past. He was showing us. He's taken us to the upper room. Through the valley. Through the river Jordan. Refining us. Purging us. Restoring the sight. And speeding up the process of sanctification because many have just sat around on the milk their entire walk. Romans 13, and, and that knowing the time that is, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we, than when we believed. Sorry guys, I have bad eyes and I'm dyslexic too. Sometimes I'm better at reading than others. Knowing that, or knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. The light of our eyes, family. He has given me this scripture in the past. So I'm resharing it. It goes with everything We've been talking about. I'm resharing this from December 29th. To kick off New York. Yes. The year is started with Holy Spirit move and prayer. For your life. Out here. We're all about to welcome. Time to process the harvest. And this is where... The Lord first started me, started me, started showing me he's processing the harvest. We're all going to have different jobs. There is the division of the sheep and goats, the wheat and the tares. That's being done too. But there's going to be a process that people have to go through after we're raptured that is not going to be pleasant if they don't sever the eye here and turn both of their eyes single. Until now, come here. And the opposite of that was to fall upon and terrify for the kickoff of New York. Petition, ask, and search to be firmly grounded on the rock. Be seeking the Lord. Be, be talking to the Lord. Taking this to the Lord. Asking the Lord. Of sanctity and holiness. Cancel and decree. What to welcome but a stone's throw away. To divide and cut through. Time to process the harvest. That is when that originally came through, and then I got the pictures of the little girls, uh, two different little girls in a wheat harvest, how he was confirming it to me. 
I've shared all of these things step by step. We're eventually going to end up on Jacob's Ladder, guys. And the time is running out. So everybody has to get this and be seeking Him and turning to Him and asking Him what you have to do. Acts 9, 18 And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. The Holy Spirit Baptism is when your eyes are fully restored and the tether to the pit has been cut. That is not justification. That is not even the seal of the Holy Spirit like I originally thought it was. It is part of the fruits of the Spirit based upon your sanctification process. Guys, He received his sight and was baptized. And on January 4th, I had gotten this last call in the word faster and generous gift. Speeding up the process is actually a blessing. The Lord is being merciful right now. Trying to bring people the light that haven't received it yet. Who are still walking around with one eye up and one eye down. Guys. Do you get it? It's a gift. This is for everybody's own good. To go to the upper room. And I'm sharing this again with the owl. Great great owl's eyesight is amazing. Casey was given this as a confirmation. And all the owls in the dreams family, the Lord was showing us the entire time with the owl. About our sight. Now family, this was from Sister Mustard Seed. She was saying... But there was lights all over the sky. And this was in the physical. It was, it was beautiful, but it was hard to believe what I was seeing because these lights were different colors. Then the sky lit up with lightning twice and the power flickered a few times, but never actually went out. Then I heard, your redemption draws near. I still don't know what to make of it. I remember I was telling you, look up means to regain your sight. And I was sharing that the Lord started flickering my lights at 222 and I caught it at 223. The flame of God, the light of God, she, her lights was flickering. She's seeing these lights in the sky that are different colors. Now I'm going to share all this because it's building up to something, guys. Redemption draws near. Look up, recover your sight because your redemption is drawing near. Not look up in the sky, but recover your sight. Make your eyes single because your redemption draws near. Flickering the lights, showing her different colors of lights in the sky. And lightning lightening up, okay? So family, I went over a lot of the things. That we've been given, Casey and I, two witnesses standing together, confirming each other. And now I'm going to bring you this. Rachel weeps in the darkness from Vicki Parnell, a word that she was given. A birthing before the pains. For you in my calendar of time. This word is for Team Jesus. It's really clear. Those who are, in, who are in God's calendar. God's calendar of time. God's calendar of time. Judgment finds you this night. That is day for you in my calendar of time. 
Rachel shall reap once within a wheel, within a wheel of time, within time. Ezekiel's wheel. Ezekiel's wheel, family. A wheel within a wheel. Time within time. Everything we've been talking about. The eye, the chariot, Ezekiel's wheel, all of it connects God's calendar. This word was given to the dancing butterfly and team Jesus. A time of testing, a time of trying. And what I've been what have me and Casey been saying? We're being tested. We're going through testing, purification, eliminating, purging, refinement, right? What it, down the Jordan River, eventually going to end up in the Sea of Galilee for the Galilean wedding and climb up Jacob's ladder. Okay? Making our eyes single, full of God's light. A time of testing, a time of trying for the higher purposes of what God has for us. A time of testing, a time of trying. Did did not I warn you? Did not I warn you? Did I not say trying and testing? As darkness descends, beginning with my display of lights and dancing color. And I just shared with you what happened with Sister Mustard Seed. And the different dancing colors of light that was in her sky. And lightning. And then her lights flickering. And then my lights start flickering. And how all these dominoes, or bad words, how all these dots connect. Because I, I use dominoes for the events. How all these dots are connecting. Do you see it, guys? Lights, dancing color. For, for all colors, for all to see and behold. See with your eyes. Behold. Recover your sight. Display of lights, of dancing color. For all colors, for all to see and behold. Your spiritual sight, family. This day, this tomorrow's day, will be an eye-opener, eye-opener to many who love me. Single eyes, single spiritual sight. When you discover your electrical power has gone off, so what I... I I believe Vicki is an understanding family is this is spiritual darkness. This is not physical darkness. We're talking about spiritual darkness here. I begin moving my great hand of darkness tomorrow's day, children. That means chastisement, guys. Three days of time within time. Time within time, a wheel within a wheel, Ezekiel's wheel, the eye of God, the chariot, all of it, Team Jesus, dancing butterfly, our sight. For those who are still physically, or see, a wheel within a wheel, um, full cognivity, meaning your full sight, guys, cognitive sight. In others, I say, prepare for war. The darkness falls in an act of mercy and love. The Lord wants everybody to finish their sanctification here. Guys, He is speeding up the process of sanctification. On its way now. From looking up channel, which is recover your sight, and then the words on its way now just popped up on my phone. Um, those ha that have ears to hear my truth, eyes see what the spirit is made is made known. Okay, so. You got to have your ears to hear before you can learn to have your eyes to see. And many are turning a deaf ear. 
Like I said, there are those who's actually attacking us, guys. And, I, you know, I'm only saying that because, please, you're only hurting yourself. I promise you. I, we have both stood together, witnesses for each other, bringing you dot after dot that the Lord has connected, confirmation after confirmation, showing you through click the confirmations, Everything that's happened, how how it's went on, step by step by step by step. Don't turn a deaf ear. You are hurting yourself. You have to restore your sight. If you already have your sight, well, praise the Lord, because now you understand it. <laughs> because many of us had n not very little of our understanding of our sight, guys. So either way, whether you had it or you didn't, now you've either gained it or now you've learned how to define it. But there are those, those that are still walking blind, guys. Those that have ears to hear my truth, eyes see what the Spirit is made known. Go listen to Vicky's word. It is for Team Jesus. I've just shown you scripture after scripture after scripture. The Lord's taken us through the valleys, through the Jordan River, and dancing us to the upper room. And if we don't sanctify here, then the process will not be pleasant if you have to finish it in heaven. If you're not hearing from the Lord, something isn't right. He wants us seeking Him, asking Him, taking all things to Him, being in His Word. So please, guys, everyone that has an ear, let him hear. The honey family the honey is the site the lord is the honey he's the bee he's all of it so i think it's amazing i think it's a blessing i think it's all miraculous every step of the way that he's brought us to this point and i just i really pray that everybody see it and I don't wish a, chastis a chastisement on anybody. It's not a pleasant process. I just had to go through one myself. But it's better here than in heaven. Okay? So there's the answers. And uh, again, take it to the Lord. I love all of you. God bless you. Go listen to Vicki's word. Matter of fact, I'll put the link in the box for you so you can just click on it. All right? This is the dance. God bless you. Good night. Talk soon.